So in this video today, I'm going to be telling you how you can get them veins in your bicep because we all want it, you know, we can walk around somewhere and literally you look so alpha. It gives you like that manliness and it makes you look like, whoa, this guy actually lifts and you don't even need like a lot of muscle mass. But if you have that vein in your bicep, it's going to make you look completely different and it's gonna probably even actually make you look a lot muscular but now the question is how do you actually get them veined in your bicep well I'm going to be telling you in this video so before this video starts make sure to click the like button make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my snapchat make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and also make sure to turn on my notifications that would mean every time I upload a video you are never going to miss a Ram Guman YouTube video. So let's begin this video. Now the first thing is that you have to have a low body fat. A lot of people will want like these veins and want these striations and these cuts in their body and they are just going to think okay let's go to the gym five days a week and let's lift heavy weight and that's it we're going to get all these cuts we're going to get these veins coming out everywhere we're going to get these veins in our bicep and that's how we are going to do it. Well no that is not true. To actually see your veins, you have to be at a low body fat. We all have them. We all have veins in our body and you won't be normal if you don't have veins. So you all have veins. It's exactly the same as abs. In order to see your abs, you have to be at a low body fat. So you have your skin, then you have this layer of fat, then you have your veins. So if you're someone who is like 20%, 25% body fat, you are not going to be able to see your veins as much as someone who is maybe 10 to 15% body fat. So your body fat has to be low in order to see that vascularity and see them veins. And when you put that t-shirt on, you put that vest on, it's just gonna make your arm look like two or three inches bigger. It gives you that illusion. Now tip number two is that if you have carbs, it actually makes your muscles look a lot more fuller and also it will help vascularity. I'll give you an example and you can actually go and try this. Do a diet where you have low carbs or even a diet where you pretty much have no carbs and do a workout, then do a workout where you have more carbohydrates, maybe let's say 200 to 250 grams of carbohydrates or even 300 grams of carbohydrates and you will see your muscles are gonna look so much fuller, you're gonna have more vascularity. So carbohydrates actually increase your vascularity. That is why I don't really support a diet which is really low in carbohydrate and you know the whole keto diet i mean yes it's all good if you want to lose body fat but it isn't a diet where you can actually maintain and it's not a diet where you are going to get the greatest of pumps and a lot of my clients come to me and go look i don't want to have carbs in my diet and i will tell them hey look just believe me we're going to add carbs in your diet and you are going to get better pumps you're going to have more energy in your workout and your muscles are going to look so much fuller as well and you're going to be dropping body fat so if any of you guys are interested in joining the 90 day shredding plan make sure to drop me an email and i'll give you the complete details how you can join this program and we can work together and get you shredded in 90 days and by you being shredded in 90 days that is also going to mean more vascularity and veins coming out of your arms and that t-shirt is just going to be looking completely different when your biceps just like damn another tip is now that you must drink plenty of water a lot of people say hey look i want to lose water retention that will mean that i should not drink no water and i should maybe just drink like 500 milliliters of water a day that's it that is not true 70 percent of our body is water now if you are someone who just completely avoids water that is not safe and your muscles are actually going to look flat our muscles are made up of water so if you are someone who is not drinking no water how are your muscles going to look full how is that vascularity going to increase so make sure please you are drinking plenty of water now the question is how much water shall you be drinking i'll recommend you to drink anywhere from four to five liters a day it's not just about looking good you know getting a big bicep getting a crazy palm getting these veins it's not about that it's the fact that 
that there are so many benefits from water. It's good for your skin, it's good for your body in general. You can get a better workout, so you're gonna stay hydrated. It's gonna avoid like you getting a headache throughout the day. So please make sure you drink plenty of water. Now, another tip is that by you having more muscle mass is actually gonna make your vascularity look a lot better because your veins you know, and your bicep is not going to look as good than someone who has a lot more muscle mass. So if you are just planning on saying, hey, look, I wanna lose my body fat because that's what he said at the start of the video, that's it. Well, no, I'm actually saying now, increase your muscle mass because that will also mean you don't have to drop your body fat that low in order to see your veins. That's exactly how it works with your abs. The more thicker abs that you have, that will mean that you don't actually need to drop your body fat that low because you already have a lot of muscle mass. And someone like myself who has quite thick abs, I don't really need to drop my body fat that low because my abs are fairly thick. And at times you can even see my abs, but I will still have fat on them. The reason why is because my abs are fairly thick. So important to increase your muscle mass and you are not only going to look a lot better, but also your vascularity is going to look a lot better too. Now, a little trick is that if you get a good pump, for example, you are doing more higher reps, you're having short rest breaks in between your sets, and that's exactly what I do on my 90 day shredding plan. The rest breaks later on in the workout is a lot less so you are burning calories and getting a better pump but at the start i'll always make sure that all of my clients are going heavy on their compound exercises by you doing high reps and doing short rests in between your sets it's going to actually increase the blood flow and that again is going to increase your vascularity if you are someone saying hey look that will mean like three hours or two hours or even an hour before I go out to the bar or club, I'm gonna do like loads and loads of press ups and I'm gonna do loads of bicep curl. Well, not really, man. Your pump may last for like 20 to 30 minutes and then after it's going to go. So, by you having a low body fat, drinking plenty of water, getting your carbs in, and having a bit of muscle mass, you don't really need to do like a workout before you go to the club or the bar because you're already gonna have the veins in your bicep. So a pump does help to actually increase that blood flow. Now another trick to get that vein in your bicep is actually increase the temperature of your body. I'll give an example. In the winter, you may not get the best of pumps or you may not see like veins all the time in your bicep. The reason why is because your body is cold. In the summer, like I'm even at times just sitting down casually and I'll get like these crazy veins because the temperature of my body is high. And I will actually at times in the winter train with my hoodie on as long as possible until I feel like my body is warm and I've got a good pump and then after I'll wear a t-shirt or a vest or whatever. So actually increasing the temperature of your body will help your pump so much and will also mean you're gonna get these crazy veins and this vascularity. Now the last trick is hair removal and I know not everyone has like hair on our arms down here. It's usually you know just on our forearms but a lot of people have so much hair on their arms and then they are saying, hey, look, I don't see no veins in my bicep. Well, a lot of your arm is covered with hair. So if you're someone who is actually really, really keen and maybe even a little desperate to get that vein in your bicep, I would advise you to remove the hair. I know a lot of people think, like, what? Hair removal for a guy like, whoa. Well, I'm sorry, you gotta do what you gotta do at times. And you know, some people actually do remove hair on their arms. <clears throat> yeah, so you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah, hair removal of your bicep, of your arm, that's gonna make your skin look a lot cleaner and it's gonna show, it's gonna show that vein right there, right there, right there. So that's another trick or a little tip that you can take on board and yeah. At times you gotta do what you gotta do to get the vein in your damn bicep. So if you take these points on board, I can guarantee you that you will get that vein in your bicep. And you can go to the club, you can go to the bar, or you can even walk around at college or school and people will just be like, whoa. Well, your arm's only like 12 inch, but they will be like, whoa, this guy's arms are like 18 inch. He is like the next Phil Heath. 
they'd be like, whoa. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. If you want to join the 90 day shredding plan, make sure to drop me an email and I will email you the complete details how we can work together and we are going to create your program which is going to get you shredded in 90 days and you are going to see so much vascularity. Not only in your bicep, your chest, your legs. I uploaded a picture on Snapchat earlier and literally my vascularity my leg was like, whoa. Because I made sure all of them points were ticked off what I've just told you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.